Hey, what's up? This is Atari2600 here. For most of my life, skinny and slim jeans were the things to wear. Skinny jeans, cool. Straight jeans, uncool. That was just how it was. But over the last few years, of course, things have almost flipped around 180 degrees. Certainly feels like fashion fans and in fashion circles, it's those wider cuts straight fits at a minimum that are receiving the most attention and being worn most frequently. But old habits die hard as someone that spent most of their life wearing skinny and slim tapered silhouettes. Suddenly looking at myself in something a little bit wider made me feel kind of self-conscious, a little bit out of my depth. Why is there so much material? Are people are gonna think that I've got huge thighs and what if they're so loose that they fall down in public and it's like that dream I had where I'm back at school and everyone points and laughs at me and my teeth fall out. Anyway, if you're interested in expanding your style, trying new things, I think it's natural to feel some kind of resistance to that whenever you see yourself just looking different to how you would do normally. Or you might feel like you're really gonna have to try super hard to style this thing or else you're gonna be outed as a skinny pant fan masquerading as a wide pant enjoyer. There are definitely a lot of people out there who do not feel comfortable wearing wide pants. Well, firstly, I'm here to tell you that it's really not that difficult. This is not some kind of advanced fashion piece that only the elite may wear, and neither is this the kind of channel that says you must be this cool to enter. So what I wanna do instead is show you how versatile this style can be and all the different options that you have for incorporating this kind of look into your wardrobe. I'll show some examples, both things that I've got and stuff that I've worn, as well as a bunch of other images and such from around the internet. I'll split things down into a couple of different sections as well, so it's a little bit easier to follow but let's get going. The first thing to remember about wide pants, of course, this is not a binary. It is not regular or wide. There is every possible different width and silhouette under the sun that you can opt for. I think people see a lot of fashion lookbooks and influencer pictures, especially at the moment where people are wearing these like ultra wide, very over the top, very dramatic pants. And they think like, well, that's a little bit too much for me. So I guess wide pants are out. I'm just gonna stick to what I'm used to. Those things are firmly at one end of the spectrum though. You'll definitely find something more palatable that's a little bit more in the middle and less out of your comfort zone that you're going to find less intimidating to actually give a go. For example, I found straight fitting or relaxed cargos are the perfect stepping stone if you're used to skinny or slim tapered silhouettes. They get you used to that feeling of material not totally gripping your legs at every opportunity and that slight different look of the pants kind of falling over your shoe in a slightly different way, but the overall look is not super centralizing or attention grabbing or anything. For me, one of the great examples from my own wardrobe is the CP Company cargos here. They're officially called the loose cargos, but they're not really that oversized or loose or crazy or anything. They've just got this very natural, straight-fitting silhouette. It's quite a simple cut, and despite the difference to a skinny jean or whatever, it doesn't really have much risk, I feel, of totally taking over an outfit. They'll happily just sit there in the background. Because they don't really command that much attention, but in my opinion still look pretty good, they're such an easy switch from something that you might be a little bit more used to. And in fact, I would say a shape that's like this, that isn't super wide, but just kind of relaxed and straight fitting, in many situations, you can just make a straight swap for a skinny jean, and you'll probably find that it still works. And this is a look you could very easily find yourself getting used to, even though initially it might not be typical for you. I think people often think that anything that is different to their standard repertoire or what they would normally reach for means that they are automatically trying very hard or they're gonna look like they're being way into fashion and yeah, putting in a bit too much effort. But in fact, I would argue that a cut like this looks more relaxed and effortless less than wearing a very form-fitting skinny jean would do. Let's assume though that you are looking to take things a little bit further. Take the training wheels off and fully go for a wide silhouette, an oversized pant of some kind. Surely at this point you need to think a little bit more about what you want to wear. I think even here, to be honest, you have a surprising amount of flexibility and that doesn't just depend on the exact type of wide pant you decide you want to wear, but just what you happen to be feeling. So to think about this further, we're gonna split things in two, both the top half pairings with an oversized or a wide pant and the kind of sneakers that you might wanna match up with something wide. And then collectively, that'll give us a much clearer vision of what kind of style, what kind of outfits are gonna work. Let's start with the top half. I think the assumption is that, well, of course you have to wear something very big and oversized and wide to match the wideness and oversized nature of the pants. 
I definitely don't think this is true and I actually think it can be bad advice. Because first off, I think this is exactly the kind of thing that turns people off trying wide pants because they see like influencer shots or brand lookbooks and they will be styled in this way with a very oversized top, very oversized pants and they think like, wow, if I need to commit that much to trying out this new style, I have to totally reinvent myself. That's too much for me and I'm not gonna do it. And I do think this take on things is not the easiest way to pull something like this off because it can easily look like you've just borrowed your dad's clothes. And there is definitely a difference between oversized and shapeless, so you don't need to go triple XL on absolutely everything. Instead of matching, I think it's more productive to think either complement or contrast. People talk about complementary colors all the time. They love to get out the little wheel. Oh yeah, you pick a color that's next to the color that you're wearing on the little wheel, and then those things complement each other and they go very nicely together. Well, I feel it's kind of the same here. If you're wearing very wide or oversized pants, pick something that is next to that on the wideness oversized wheel. What I mean by that is something that's relaxed or a little bit oversized without being quite as wide or quite as unusual as the thing that you're wearing on the bottom half. This gives you the same kind of energy running through the whole outfit without running into that big brother's clothing type problem of everything just looking like it's not quite fitting you right. You only need that slightly different shape and there's 101 different ways you could do that, either through individual pieces that have a little bit of a relaxed or an oversized look, or using multiple layers built up on the top half to create that kind of visual interest and a little bit more bulk. That again, matches the pants, but in a slightly different way to just something that's really big. Accessories like bags and vests can do a really good job here, and they don't necessarily have to be mega oversized or really weird looking things. I think this outfit here from Lewis is a great example. You've got that scarf accessory, you've got the hip bag as well. It really gives those extra layers to the top half to make the whole outfit look really complimentary, even though the pants are way more oversized than the jacket is. Just look at those big crunchy stacks that you got going on down there. And in this outfit from earlier this week, I'm wearing the Nemen Zephyr jacket with the outlier bomb flows here. The pants are pretty wide, especially at the hem, and while the Zephyr isn't as oversized, it has this kind of boxy cut, it's a little bit of extra width there as well, and combining that with a CP Company vest over the top, you do have that little bit of bulk and that little bit of extra room on the top half without being quite as much as the bottom half. Again, it's not the same cut or style, but it has a little bit of commonality there. Here's another good example. This is from Galax, who is no stranger to the wider pan. And what we've got here, you can see even though the jacket is kind of oversized, you can see that particularly at the arms, it also has a lot of angular straight lines and it's cropped as well. That material has a lot of structure. It's got that central zip as well, the pocket detail, the collar. You've got a bit of similarity in the oversized stuff, plus some contrast, which overall makes for this kind of complementary look. That awesome lime color also does a great job of balancing things because you've got a lot of visual interest up here, nice bright color, and a lot of visual interest down there, nice wide pan. So that's complementing or using different pieces of clothing which are similar in some ways and a little bit different in others. But what about contrast? Well, you could still cite those previous images as examples there. You've got contrasting elements, in this case the color or the very angular lines versus the unstructured flowing ones. With the Neman jacket, exactly the same thing. You've got a very neutral black color for the pants, which is allowing the width of them to come through and shine a little bit. But then on the top half, you've got the color, which is providing a very strong contrast and balancing that visual interest, but you can take this a stage further into looking at the silhouette and the width itself. And by that I mean contrasting very wide with a very slim. This is probably something that's going to work better if you're a little bit more comfortable with the idea of wearing wide pants because essentially wearing something in this way draws more attention to them rather than sort of balancing them out and taking away from them. I think a tucked in or a very form-fitting top can look great with really wide pants. It's almost this early 2000s raver kind of aesthetic which is increasingly becoming more relevant in the fashion world. It's very dramatic, it's very fashion forward. I think someone doing something like this is instantly gonna give that perception that like, yeah, I know about style, I know what I'm doing. But it's also kind of fun as well. I feel like an outfit like this doesn't really take itself too seriously. You really are going all in that like, yeah, I'm wearing something that's a bit unusual and crazy and you know what, I'm cool with it and I think it's good. As an alternative and more technical take on this, take a look at some of the Hamkus lookbooks because they often balance their bodysuits, which are very form-fitting, with some of their much wider pants. And you could say that they are doing this by balancing a lot of accessories and things like that to sort of remove that very form-fitting nature. But also there is that clear contrast there with, yeah, skin tight and very, very wide. 
I think it works and it does a great job of showing those crazy pants off. I know it seems like when we're analyzing images like this and really going into detail about like, oh, this works because X, Y, Z reason, it seems like you therefore must put in loads of effort or loads of thought in order to do this. But I think in reality, things are far more intuitive. You absolutely don't have to go through some crazy thought process just to put clothes on. What we're doing here is really thinking, well, all of these people seem to look good in various ways. What are potential reasons for that? Hopefully it shows that there's not just one way to engage with things. A lot of different styles can work for a lot of different reasons. And you'll probably find that if you do give something like this a go, just trying something out will probably find, even if it's not in this video at all, it still kind of works and looks pretty good. It's just a case of getting used to something that's a little bit different. I promised I'd touch on shoes and this is the best part because I feel you really don't have to think that hard about what kind of footwear you are pairing up with wide pants. In fact, I think it's easier to make these kinds of pairings than it is to do so with slim or tapered silhouettes. In those cases, it's easy to suffer from he boot too big, which in my opinion looks far worse than he boot too small. The wider the leg opening, of course, the chunkier the shoe you can get away with and not have it look out of place. So time to bust out those big fat walking boots or whatever you've got nestled away in that wardrobe of yours. Try something a bit different, it'll probably still look mega effortless. And I think because so many of the popular shoes at the moment are a little bit on that chunkier side, it's all the more reason to try out a wider pant because you're gonna help make the most of them. I know you're scared, no one will know what you're wearing if you've got these huge wider pants on, but trust me, it's a way bigger flex to be semi covering up the those shoes than it is to have big skinny jean arrows pointing towards your latest pickup. Wide pants are like, oh, you want to look at my new sneakers? Yeah, you can see a little bit of them. You can see like half of them, but that's all you're getting. That doesn't mean, of course, you have to wear mega chunky shoes and get yourself down to the Balenciaga store this instant. Dunks, Air Force Ones, they're still really popular at the moment. And guess what? They look fine with wide pants. They have that little bit of extra bulk to them without being super wide and crazy they just work. Same applies to the various New Balance silhouettes which are gaining popularity at the moment, especially because they have that very overtly retro look, and often wide pants do evoke that same kind of throwback sort of appeal. Depending on the specific cut, I even think more form-fitting sneakers still work pretty nicely. Anything where you can cinch down the hem or it's got a bit of a tighter cuff in some way is great for slimmer shoes. The acronym P30, great example of this. Despite being ultra wide on the top half, because they do taper down quite nicely, they still seem to look good with a slimmer, more sportswear focused shoe, just as much as they do a kind of chunky one. You'll find this with a bunch of other hiking or performance brands that how wide they go almost becomes irrelevant if you can cinch them down at the ankle and still get that nice pant shoe interaction. If you've got any reservations about wearing wide pants, I feel like a lot of that is because of unfamiliarity. That's certainly something that I found when I started trying out some of these looks. It just looks or feels weird to be wearing something different at first, but I really feel like this style of pant is not that prescriptive. There is a lot of freedom to do whatever you want and whatever you feel most comfortable doing. There are plenty of examples of different people making this style work in different ways. I'm sure you can put your own spin on it. Getting used to this will really open you up to a bunch more styles. Even in the tech wear space, people are very focused on those slim tapered silhouettes, but check out the more BDU silhouette, which opens up so many more options for more military inspired, relaxed relaxed, interesting clothing that's comparatively unexplored. And the recently released acronym P39M are a great example of that kind of stepping stone pant. They've got a relaxed, straight fitting silhouette, not too complex construction, and crucially, a little bit more affordable as well. They absolutely nail that effortless look. If that's something that you wanna see a little bit more about, then definitely let me know. I'm kinda of on the fence about picking up a pair for myself at the moment. What's your experience though with wider pants? I'm hoping that we've got some experts who are gonna drop some big knowledge in the comments here. Or if you're a bit fresher, let me know if you found this video helpful in some way gave you a little bit of inspiration. I've got to say, super impressed last week with how many people left really valuable and thoughtful comments, which absolutely nailed it in my opinion. B-Jam, Megabyte, Ian Morosi, Frank Top, so many others. A massive thanks for the huge support on last week's video. And if supporting stuff is your thing, then please do give the video a like. That is massively helpful for the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We've got way more fashion content on the horizon. New videos coming out every week, of course. So, hey, maybe we'll catch you next week for the next one. See you later.